Hey guys, just wanted to comment on some of the comments from the last video I posted. Uh, some people said it was negative and that I shouldn't be that way towards those shoppers. I think it had to come to this point because they weren't getting the clue that I was sending out to them. And sometimes uh, I would basically tell them that they needed to move on. But I don't take back anything I posted. Uh, as far as negativity, I'm sorry that it come across that way. I know it was kind of negative. But sometimes uh, you have to eliminate negative people in your life. And I highly suggest you all do the same. That's just my way of dealing with it. I'll try to make the future videos not so, uh, you know, verbally negative. But um, one thing you should do is probably go to your timeline now, whether it be Twitter, um, you know, Facebook, whatever. I'm trying to stop saying ah so much because I don't want to edit. But you need to eliminate uh, any, anybody that's negative on your timeline, maybe mute them or unsubscribe to them. Uh, if it's me that is being negative on your timeline, you can subscribe. It's totally fine with me. I've stated before that I'm not here to grow a massive amount of supporters. I'm just here to post videos. And if I gain supporters along the way, so be it. But, you know, I, I appreciate anybody that does follow me. But I, I've started unfollowing people that are negative on my timeline on Twitter and other social media outlets. The algorithm is, is you. It's not really an algorithm. Um, I could probably go through any one of y'all's algorithms. I could probably go through any of y'all's timelines right now, and uh, it, it would all be related to you. There's no nothing else more than you as the algorithm. So anytime you think social media is trying to like lead you down a path, it's really stuff you've clicked on before or maybe someone in your house with the same IP address that has clicked on it before. So I would highly suggest you all take that challenge to go through and, and unsubscribe to anybody that's negative. Uh, also anybody that's too too successful maybe, maybe that's bringing you down because you're not that successful. Uh, I would probably mute them and unsubscribe to them too because you're not there yet. I've done that as well. Uh, I would highly suggest before you go to bed and I've, I've read this on, I've heard this on other podcasts, Type in something positive. Type in positivity in the timeline and click on a few things. Subscribe to some new people that are positive. And yes, I promise you, when you wake up in the morning, you'll be started out to a better day. If you can't wake up in the morning and say that you're 90% happy, you probably need to evaluate your surroundings. That's just my opinion. I'm probably 90% happy, um, 5% angry and maybe 5% indifferent when I wake up each morning. And a lot of that stems on who is in my, you know, home, which is my wife. My wife is super positive all the time. Sometimes it seems like she's too positive, but I need that in my life and I appreciate her. But I highly suggest all of you do the same. And as far as these shoppers in my area, I'm just going to continue to avoid them because they do bring negativity and I just really don't need that. We all have enough of that on the apps. Um, I also suggest if you get a $2 order, not to throw your phone, not to just go into a rant because you know, you're going to get one, you know, you're going to get probably three or four in a row. Just delete that shit, decline it, move on. You know, there's a better one coming somewhere along the way. And if it's a really bad day and you're sitting there for an hour or more, which you know, you can relate to this, go home, go home, go drive, um, something. I drive sometimes through my town just to probably try to trigger an order somewhere uh, because that is based on algorithms a lot of times because they're, they're wanting to know where you're at, how far you are from the restaurant and the closest uh, you are to that customer. Sometimes I'll be in the neighborhood and get a ping for an order and I have to go to the Publix, which is maybe six miles away. And it's wanting me to come to that house because I'm basically in front of their house right now, which makes no sense. And Grubhub's really bad about that, but I don't do much of that anyway. But um, yeah, just uh, just have a little more patience with your apps. Um, it, it's tough, trust me. Uh, this past week, past two or three weeks have been kind of tough, but you know, it, it'll turn around. I think it's tax season is the problem. But anyway, just wanted to address that. I hope you guys have a good one.